What's up everybody? I'm Jamie from 3littlegoats.com. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. I'm glad to see you as always. So I think it was about two, two weeks ago or so that I put out a liquid soap making video. If you haven't checked that out, I will link it up here as well as down in the description box. And I had a Facebook message asking me, is there a way to fix the problem of if you put too much water in your soap and your soap is just too liquidy, you want it to thicken it up. So I am going to show you how to do that really easily. And even if you buy store-bought liquid soap and it's really thin and you want to thicken it up, you can do this with store-bought soap as well to thicken up that stuff. So let's get started. All right, guys. So what I have here is my homemade Castile soap. And it's... It's thick, but it's not as thick as I'd like it to be. So what I have done is I've taken a 2 to 1 ratio of salt and water, and I heated the water up so that the salt would be nice and dissolved. So I let all the salt dissolve, and I'm just going to start slowly adding a little bit of this salt water mixture into my mix. What this is going to do is it's going to actually really really thicken up your liquid soap so if you made liquid soap and it you put too much water in and you don't like how thin it is and you want to thicken it up a little bit this is the way you're going to do it and it really it doesn't affect the lather too much but as you can see just with that little bit it really has already started to thicken up now you want to do this in very small increments because if you add too much in it, it will actually cause your soap to kind of seize and clump up. As you can see, it's starting to turn white. So I'm going to continue to add it. And if I continue to add any more, probably it's going to start to really seize up. Now look how thick that is. Gorgeous. So if you, if you like a thicker liquid soap, and you didn't, you put too much water in, this is really the way to thicken it up quick and easy. Like I said, just be sure to really go slow so you don't ruin your soap. Yeah, now you can see there's like a trace on the top. Maybe you can see it. Let's do it this way. It's almost like honey now. As before, it was really thin but now it's more of a honey consistency. So I'm gonna actually add some more in, and I'm gonna show you what happens if you put too much of the salt water mix in it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go overboard. I'm probably gonna add half of this. And as you can see, it'll start to really, really turn white and just kind of start to get lumpy. And kind of gross. Let's go overboard, really overboard, and just pour a bunch of it in there. It starts to kind of separate and look almost like curdled milk, which, if you don't mind that, go for it, but I, I really don't like a curdled milk. As you can see, it, ugh, that looks just, that looks gross. So don't put too much salt water into your mix or else it'll not look so pretty. I'm sure it's probably still usable. It still feels like soap, but because you're adding so much extra water in, it's really going to just ruin your liquid soap. So small, small increments. There's really no measurement for it. You just got to tiny teaspoons, give it a stir, tiny teaspoons, give it a stir until you really get the consistency that you like. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week and the ducks and the chickens are running wild back there. <laughs> So, but if you are interested in more soap videos, let me know down below. I am going to be rebatching some soap hopefully this week. It's going to be a really busy week this week. I'm having dental work done, which I really hate. Plus, I have parent-teacher conferences, 
and just a whole bunch of appointments going on this week so I'm going to try to rebatch some soap and if I do I will definitely put that video up on Thursday and I will see you guys next time. Bye!